Let us do together an Umbrian recipe, which is used extensively by the farm people. A, just a wholesome, delicious brodo or broth. Into that broth can go many things. Sometimes in the evenings, it would just be pastina in brodo, a little bit of tiny little pasta in broth. Or for a special lunch, it can be tortellini in broth those wonderful dumplings, if you will, filled with pork. Now, let us first learn how we're going to make the broth. Very simple, actually. This is meat that I bought today from our butcher, just a couple of wings and perhaps a thigh. Then about four pieces of lean beef, and of course, bones, good beef bones. We're going to put that in water, bringing it to a boil, along with a couple potatoes, couple carrots, an onion, and a stalk of celery. And you know, it's just fine to use the leafy part of the celery. And then the stem can be used for something else, or the stalk might be used for your salad or something. So I'm all set, just have to finish peeling the onion, and then we'll head over and start our broth. So these are the ingredients we're going to put in to the water, which we bring to a boil. And look at how simple it is to make this. As I've said before, when talking about Umbrian Rural Cuisine, it must be delicious because you're feeding Italians, but it must be quick because the women have so much to do and it's not just the cooking. Okay, let's go over to the stove and in go the ingredients. There go the vegetables. And now we're going to put in the meats. And you know what's delicious is after you've made the broth, you take all the meat off the bones, mash the potatoes, mash the carrots, and season them with oil and lemon juice, salt and pepper. And that makes a second course for your dinner after the broth. Water should come up about two thirds. Okay, so it's going to simmer. And then after it simmers, I'm going to be adding salt. Remember our rule, QB, quanto basta, as much as you need. I'll need about two tablespoons of coarse salt for this much. And so now we have our broth boiling. And as it starts to come to a boil, I will cover it and slightly lower the heat. So it's simmering as sort of a nice low medium boil. All right, our first step is done. And now that our broth is ready, we're going to whip in the fresh eggs mixed with Parmesan cheese. I like to add a little grated lemon peel and we're whipping it into the boiling brodo and we will have stracciatella, the rags, if you will. Let's see how we do this, easy. We use one egg for every two people. Now look at these, these are our eggs from our chickens. This could have a double yolk. Let's see, didn't surprise me this. Yes, have a look. We got a double yolk. It's eat, you can see it's a fertilized egg. We have a rooster as well as hens. That's fine, extra nutrition. Um, actually, probably with a double yolk, I could use one egg, but I'll just add two anyway. Look at these beautiful yolks. Sign of healthy free range chickens. I whip the eggs and to the eggs, I'm going to be adding a generous amount of Parmesan or mixed Parmesan and Pecorino, mixed Parmesan and Romano. And I am gonna add some black pepper. I am not adding any salt to these eggs because of course, there's a lot of salt in the cheese. So now, beautiful bouquet perfume of the grated lemon peel. You don't need too much. In it goes. I have brought the broth to a boil. And now what I'm gonna do when I stir this in is bring all this over to the gas stove so you can see it a bit better. Generous, generous amount of Parmesan, as you can see. Okay, in it goes. Keep whisking. And I want it to come once again to a boil. And you'll see the consistency it will become as it comes up to a boil again. And it's sort of flowering. Little strips, little rags, stretch it out. Look at this glory. 
Huh, is that a nutritious dish, which the farmer women could make for their family. They would always have their meats, chicken, uh, they'd have the carrot, celery, onion. They didn't always have beef because often the, uh, the, the beef cows were sold for meat. They just make it with chicken broth in that case. They always had their eggs and what a nutritious dinner this would be for the family. Okay, and now we're gonna to head to the table. Pino, sacerce la stracciatella. Che ne dici? Buon idea. He says, really? You knew it was stracciatella. Really? Who made it? What? Who made it? Who made it? I made it. Oh, good. <laughs> good. 